Well, it is interesting. Let's see what we can do with this machine here. If a device breaks in a cave and nobody's <laughs> around to complain, did I really break it? No, we we did not break it. It was just it was like that when we found it. Remember, guys, if no one's around to see it break. Then never broke. If anything, it broke because of natural natural causes. <laughs> hey, everybody, and oh, welcome back to see Delta T play some more Divinity Original Sin 2. Last time, I don't exactly remember what we had, but I know we went back into we went through the cloister wood area if I remember correctly. And, hold on. Uh, that's the exit, okay. And then we made it in here, and obviously, if you guys don't know, we're in the black pits. Let me just say that first of all. But also, if you guys don't know, this is cursed also. If we walk past it, yeah, you know, there's a chance that, uh, it explodes. So, basically, the best way to get through it without exploding is, uh, you know, teleportation abilities. Because that's, that's, that's the key. Obviously. Also, you know, I, I know this is going to be a pain in the butt to do. I kind of just want to say, screw it. <laughs> just... Run through it, because I mean we have enough magic armor, right? Probably, probably. Oh, you, you, I, I don't, I, wow, what a shocker, a trap. Hold on. There you go. Now I have to wait another. Great. I, I don't have the range for that. Tell me I have the range for this, please. Thank you. All right, we made it back. Unfortunately. Oh my God. Uh, you guys need to walk out, please? Alright, so I don't know why there wasn't a trap there. I guess maybe it was just because I had low wits there or whatever. I'm not sure. Probably because Beast is not the, you know, the perceptive kind, if I may say. You want to go this way, so maybe the best option is just to get teleportation. Let's go all the way over here. Try to teleport our guys. All the way over here. We could make them go through the fire, but that's kind of a uh, cr uh, jerk move, in my opinion. Well, so hopefully we won't get into the explosion again this time. Uh, chances are, though, we will. For some reason, I thought we had all three already. Or all four across. My bad. <sighs> just waiting, man. We're just waiting for teleportation to come off cooldown. Hey, we did it. And guess what? I can't reach them. Fantastic, huh? But, Los might. Will I be able to nether swap? Hold on. Uh, actually, Los can, can be teleported if I just move a little bit more further this way. To the rocks. There you go. Perfect. And we did it. And I'm going to quick save just in case uh, something stupid happens. Now I'm going to quick save in case something stupid happens. There you go. Wits man, go first, please. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Can I just like disarm it somehow? I cannot. Don't step on it. Don't step on it. All right, not bad. There's a sharp rock, and a lady in pain. I guess we'll go see what the lady in pain has to say for us. To say to us. Before we do that, so let's spear vision just in case. She doesn't see us. Let's go and see if we can help her. Uh, actually, beast, you're the uh, all-seeing man. You know, I may not like magisters or anything like that, but I will. I'm not a jerk. I will try to help her. Careful! It might still be here. I think I made it angry. And this is when it burrows underneath, the, uh, from underneath her, and eats her. Close enough. You know, close enough, right? Armored, fluorescent. That guy just explode for some reason. So good news. Hold on, armored. Fluorescent. Good news, we got a, you know, good, good man here. And by good man, I mean uh, we have Gojira here. Who can obviously very do very good stuff on his own. We will slow them down. What I'm trying to say is basically... Let's examine them real quick. It looks like they're, yeah, earth and poison heals them. Fire, they're very weak to. So let's keep that in mind. With that in mind, actually, just go ahead and haste the Red Prince. And let's uh, move over here because we can. Yeah, I'm worried about this right there. I'm worried about this, uh, you know, exploding if it does. But magic seems to be the worst thing ever. 
Uh, best way to do that is to be, I guess, just, ah, uh, do I just want, do I want to, like, I don't know what I do. I'm not sure if I just want to do straight up encourage or straight up just magical damage. Like, if I make it rain, it'll take this away, but this might, you know, this won't go away, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I guess I'll just do my standard plays of encourage. And then, I guess we'll do an ice fan. How much damage do they do each? 100, 120. Target is too far away, unfortunately. So I guess the best thing to do... This will freeze this one, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this guy will freeze if I hit him. Shield. Okay, not frozen. Also, I like how I like the way that they move. Just, uh, like, 100%, you know, for the sake of saying it, that's really cool how they move. So we want to do a bunch of magic damage. Hmm. It is frozen. It lied to me. I don't want to move, so let's just go do electric discharge. Shocked? I might be able to... Oh, never mind. We can't use Dazing Bolt because it's only a two thingy. It's a two... It's a three skill point move. What? I wish I was told about the guys behind us first. With that being said though, fire damage is their weakness. Eh... This guy might be the best one to go for. Yeah, path is interrupted on the right here. No, actually it'll work. This guy's frozen, so let's go for straight for the armored voidling. And necrofire. Fantastic, actually. Fantastic. And anyway, I can do spontaneous combustion on this man here, probably. Or I can do searing daggers. Spontaneous combustion, why not? There you go. He comes from behind us, that's fine. Attack of opportunity. There should be another one here, hopefully. I think we'll be fine. They'll die to the fire. You should be dead. You're, they, they both died. Okay. A uh, okay. Hmm. What to do here? It's actually a very uh, weird predicament, I think. Make it go to sleep, I guess. It's shocked. Who's next? This guy. I can just make this guy go to sleep straight up. And I don't have any magic damage or magical attacks, so let's just go ahead and do one of these. Because there's not really much else I want to do or can do. I would like to get out of the fire, please. I don't want to make it rain because making it rain would be bad for business. We can probably shock the man. Uh, let's move a little bit closer up, but still out of the fire. We might be able to stun him. Yep, stun him. Stun him. And I guess Soothing Cold is out of range. It is, unfortunately. What if I go here? One. You know, one is better than none. Even though Beast needs it more, but sure, that's fine. We don't have fire, but we do have a Dazzling Bolt, which we can't hit two with. Fantastic. Only one. Okay, that's odd. I expected both of them to be hit. There's one over here we can't see. Can't nether swap. Let's go ahead and get out of the fire. Let's teleport this guy into the fire. Because we can. This guy's probably just gonna move around. This gives us Thread Prince. Which honestly the best thing to do is probably just... Do... Supernova is not really a good play right here because then I'm just gonna hurt everyone around me. So just do Searing Daggers. I'm actually quite happy that I gave this guy, uh, Red, Red Prince, a bunch of fire attacks. Makes it more fun, I think. Yeah, just a throwing knife is fine. That's all I can really do, that's fine. Cursed? I still don't know what Cursed does. Resistance is okay, that's fine. Nothing too bad. Uh, Armor Frost, let's go ahead and Armor Frost Beast here just to be safe. We could freeze this guy. Or we could freeze... We don't want to freeze anyone, we just want to do damage, right? So what if we... There's like no good play. Because of the, cause of the ice. We like, we have... Uh, well, just just do ice damage. Do Winter Blast, why not? Immune to chill. Yeah, okay, that's fine. As long as it does damage, I'm happy. In all honesty. Oil flame on the ground. Oh, why did, why did it explode? It's two oil flames. Oh, I guess he hit it right there. Oh, he's making the fire spread. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, what can I do here? 
I could another swap with this guy. So that way I'm in range for attacks. So I can do like a shocking touch or a petrifying touch. Now he's petrified. And I can move behind him. And get ready for some more attacks next turn. But for me, I just want to get closer. And just do one of these fire attacks. And I guess I could fortify someone if I really wanted to. Let's fortify Los just because I can. Doesn't seem that helpful, but that's fine. And that's it. And basically you, you just do more of your basic attacks. Uh, you know, uh, back backstabs. Oh, actually, I can now get behind up safely. Backstab crit, see? And I'm not on fire, so that's fantastic. Also, can I haste someone? I cannot, so I'll just haste Beast, why not? Let's do an adrenaline shot. Yeah. I don't know if Sawtooth Dagger does any extra damage. 232. So let's look at the combat log. So let's see how much damage I do. 91 and 46. That did not seem to be that good, did it? Holy crap. I think Sawtooth Knife is just basically just a better attack in general. I gotta keep that in mind. Nice crit there. Let's go ahead and make it regenerate. I don't know. Jeez, I don't know. Like just uh, end your turn, I guess. Yeah, I expected more old flames. That's fine. I guess I'll just do basic attack, and he's dead. Uh, I have no more teleportation. It's raining. Men, hallelujah, it's raining, man. Just end your turn. Let's make this guy explode again. And shield bounce will not finish it off, obviously. But well, we might as well just do it. Just in case it does. Maybe a phoenix type will finish it off? Not at all. Try to get out of the fire. If he moves, he's dead. Well, not dead, but, you know, close to being dead. Ugh, I'm, uh, more, I'm annoyed that he's still alive. Uh, you, you have the range here. You got it. I believe in you, Losa. Fantastic. All right, now, no one die in the fire, please. But please meet up over here. Losa, I need you to move over there, please. I think this will just like naturally fade away, I think. Yeah, there you go, it's fading away now. Let's go ahead and quickly heal ourselves before we die. Uh, it's fine, everyone's good. Everyone good? Fire's almost gone. Let's do another spirit vision just in case. But uh, I'm honestly kind of like, sh not surprised, but like... I did not expect Sawtooth Knife to do a bunch more damage. I thought like my knives would be do about the same amount of damage, but I guess it is based on Scoundrel. Hold on. I didn't do that. I did not do that. That's all I gotta say. Hold on, let me look at this. Oh, because it receives bonus from finesse. That's probably why it does so much damage. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't take that into consideration at all. Nice nebulous crystal. Can I get any more nebulous, nebulous crystals, please? And thank you. Yeah, there you go. I, can, I got tons of money now. Praise. Sorry. Nothing up here. Let's look in this little shack over here. Maybe there's something in the shack. Oh! Okay. That's interesting. Uh, I guess there's someone down here. It's chicken. It's a canary. Is it peeper? Is it pepper? My good old little pecker. Official memo. It's downstairs, right? I can't pick it up. It's downstairs, yeah. Next to a key. Well, this is interesting. Let's see what we can do with this machine here. This does. If a device breaks in a cave and nobody's <laughs> around to complain, did I really break it? No, we we did not break it. It was just it was like that when we found it. Remember, guys. No one's around to see it break. It never broke. If anything, it broke because of natural natural causes. Because <laughs> uh. There's no witnesses. 
That is why you never leave witnesses behind, so make sure you murder people. Just kidding, don't murder people. Uh, Canary? There you are. Birds here. What are you talking about? So I think I might know who it is. Does she have any eggs to spare? The hen gives you a panicked. Oh, I did not expect to get an egg. I was talking. I was. I thought we were talking about the uh, person down there. Magisters, be under no illusion. Quick work is imperative to our success. The Lady Dallas commands no less for this. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go over there. But I was—I meant to say like I'm pretty—I'm pretty sure we're gonna—I know what we're gonna see over there. I expect there to be a giant chicken, and that's what the pepper is for. Colleagues, it's come to my attention that some of workers have been slacking off. This is unacceptable. The pace must be increased if I are to satisfy Lady Dallas's bidding. Do not make me bring painful incentive into the equation, Raymond. Uh, what we do is the caption suggests to pick Lady Dallas's ministry. Okay, they're, they're having sex. <laughs> They're burning the midnight oil. Like it. I like it a lot. Lucky fight. Yes, indeed. Alosa, uh, can you please bring back your boy? Well, I want to be careful of traps, so I'm going to go first. Yeah, there's something over here. We don't have any way of purging that. I don't think. Also, oh, there's no way across. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. This is also quite interesting. This is a very interesting labyrinth slash maze. Let's look at the map real quick, just so we can have a better understanding of what's going on. So it looks like this is a long way around. There's multiple long ways around in case you don't have a purging wand. Uh, how do I restore? No. Okay, I was trying to. I was trying. I was thinking. I was like, maybe no. So what I was trying to say here is maybe there's like a way to like, because in the last episode or the couple of episodes ago, we learned how to take so source from the animals. Maybe we can take the source from that thing, but I don't think there's an actual skill. Hopefully, if I do this, everyone comes with. We'll see. If not, then I uh, might have screwed Gojira. Wow, well, okay, it worked. And not the fanciest way of getting around, but it worked. We got some sharp rocks. I didn't mean to take the rock. I saw like something glow over here, but I guess maybe I was just mistaken. I thought I saw these rocks glow. More sharp rocks. Nice little chest. That other relic I, found. I wonder if it has a similar effect. Uh, we found a mysterious pillar before. I honestly don't remember. The towering relic seems to hum with esoteric. Energy. I don't remember this. Pulsating in time with the beat of your heart, you feel it drawing you closer, yearning for your touch, hungering for your source. Did it kill us last time? I don't remember, but I think I remember something that wanted source and it killed us. Uh, quick save just in case, let's just, and then let's go ahead and reach our our palms and. Touch it. As your fingertips press the warm stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. The relic seeks your power, yet you have none to give. The stone warms and warms until it is suddenly too hot. To Los has two points. Let's try to see what we do this. As your palms press into the warm stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. Your power flows from you into the relic. Yet a reverse current flows back into you with a new power, Ooh. a different power. The stone warms and warms until it is suddenly too. Eternal armor can be very useful, very useful indeed. Hold on. It gave me armor. I need to have an eternal artifact, eternal plate, metal scraps, and a source orb. But I don't know what it does. So is this like get like a new source set or or armor set, a special source armor set? I don't know. The towering relic. That's it. Okay. Well, that was. Interesting. It says we found one of these before, but I don't remember. And I don't think I touched it last time either. Alright, now this is where I'm a little bit, like, confused on how to do. First of all, 
Uh, let's see if there's any other way around. It does not look like the way I do. I think we just have to teleport all the way around. There's like nothing over here. Great. Fantastic. Why would this even exist? Oh, it's death fog. That's death fog, isn't it? No, it's just it's just it's just fog. Normal fog. So let's go ahead and just teleport everyone across. Everyone get in line. Get there eventually. Beast, you're up next. Yeah, I wish there was a better way. Can I just like... No, I cannot. Ah, you can Phoenix dive. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I think of that sooner? I should have just thought about that sooner. I really should have. Except she doesn't have a way of teleporting across. Well, at least now I know how to do you know, things quicker next time. Now here's where things get kind of scary. I don't have the purging ability available. Galvanize. I'm guessing that it's, it's, it's possible to destroy. So now, am I just supposed to go across a different path? So, people that can't come across... So you guys can just fly across, so just go ahead and do that. You guys can just do this. Teleport your lady over here. And teleport your man over here. So that's like, you know what, we're, at least we're learning some efficiencies in terms of our play. We might be able to sneak across and I'm not sure. We'll see. Alright, your turn. The Phoenix dive across. Are you kidding me? Is that... oh, boy, it is a Why can't I Phoenix dive over here? Oh, I can. Don't die. Okay, you did not die. Good. But I need you to move. Is this the engine artifact that we need? To build the, the uh, armor. Might be. Alright, now it's your turn, beast. Can you just, uh, go ahead and Phoenix dive over there, too? You just gotta find the right spot for you. There you go. See, that works. Okay, I got a little bit scared there. I chose to teleport the wrong person. I'm an idiot. Now I have to wait until Los can teleport. I could another swap teleport. That'd be, be a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and do that. Can't, never mind. It won't let me teleport for some reason. Just just wait a little bit. Just uh, one more second. Just one more turn, whatever that means. I wonder if I'll just be able to teleport right across right now. Can I just do it right now? I cannot. So let's see if we can just go ahead and move across over here. Hopefully I can just Phoenix dive across without having to worry about anything. I can. And we'll just grab whatever this is. Carved from unfamiliar metal in an alien style. This mysterious object yet glow. Carved from So we can use something with source. This uses source somehow. We don't know how though. That's good to know, I guess. There's more stuff over here that we can't do. There's a chest. I like that. I like chests. Can I teleport myself? I can teleport the chest. You know what? I'll, I'll take the chest. Uh, Gajira, you need to be over here, apparently. Because, uh, you know, you are the best at... Where's the teleport? There it is. Best at lockpicking chests. It's a little bit painful, but it's fine. No worries. Totally worth it. Lockpick it. Oh, we have the key already. Never mind. Well, that was, uh, pointless. I did not expect it to just be like that. So you do this. And I, Phoenix Dive. Watch out. Don't get hurt. They got hurt. That's fine. No big deal. Alright, let's uh, quick save so we don't have to deal with that ever again. And hopefully... Unlock this waypoint if we can. It worked. <laughs> Take that, dummy. Oh, no! The statue looms in the shadowy dark. Let's quick load, cause uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so it looks like it's just it's just unlocked now. I, I thought you had to be closer to it to unlock it, but it didn't let me do it. But okay, that was my mistake. I really should not have had them grouped up together. And hopefully, I quick saved after the chest uh, situation, cause this is just you know we're thinking with portals now or with teleportation, with jumping, whatever you want to call it. This isn't portal or portal two. And there we go. 
I do need to get my purging wand refilled somehow. I gotta look into that. And nothing over here. And nothing over here. Uh, quick saving. Well, the game is quick saving or auto saving. I'll probably specify that a bit more. What was that? It was that machine we touched earlier. We caused a giant uh, chain reaction, probably. Wow, this is a big ca cavern. All right, we're gonna go over here last, I think, because that looks like the main area. Over here looks like a side area, right? Like the side piece. Never mind. This looks like a pretty major area as well. Never mind. Huh? Okay, that was scary. We need help. Magisters need help. I could help them. I'm gonna help you for sure. As much as I don't like Magisters, I am not gonna... You know, it's that, there's certain tiers of people you like and you don't like. At the top of the tier is Voidwalkers and Voidlings. Then it's Magisters. And then everyone else is pretty much okay, I think. Well, Abominations and such. But I think Abominations are cooler than these guys over here. But that's fine. You know what? If they die, they die. If they die, hopefully they give me experience. Please tell me get me experience. They're neutral, so as long as they're not help they're not as long as they're not attacking me, I'm fine with that. Hey, can you please uh hurry your turn, please? Silent watcher. Don't move because it might explode. That's a great arrow right there. Well, you know. I will say silent watchers, uh no problem with you guys. You guys are just doing your job, you know? What else do you want me to do, you know? They're just doing their job. We got experience because the enemy died. Never mind. They killed themselves. That's interesting. What can I do here? I can make you go to sleep at least. I kind of want to... Fanta? But no, I kind of want to give this... They're weak to fire, so... Let's do that. Let's put that thing to sleep. Who moves next? This guy does not move next. The vampires move next. There's one over there. Let's move... As far down as we can, I guess. Or we could just uh, move up here and just stay up here and then just throw daggers, probably. We'll have that, you know, high ground advantage or whatnot. whatnot. I should have electric discharge available. Yes, you do. And zap. Now you are interesting. Vampires over there. I kind of want to stop that vampire. Where's the second vampire? I was told there was two vampires. That's one. That one's knocked down. Okay, that's fine. So I have one free action point for moving. Let's try to move over here as fast as much as much as we can. And let's go ahead and do where is it? Phoenix dive across. Not enough apparently. Uh, it looks like I won't be able to make it in time. I could just do this. Which I think I will do. I, I hurt someone. I'm sorry, man. I did not mean to hurt you. I'm just trying to help you by attacking this thing. Losa. Very important to take out this guy so he doesn't get another turn. Awesome. Might as well encourage your teammates. And there you go. You're the best ever. Keep doing yourself. Go ahead and do like a backstab crit right there, probably. Uh-huh. Nice backstab crit. Get in there. Boom. Put some adrenaline in us. Blinded and stunned. Do some sawtooth knife action for some gnarly damage, bro. Don't fire me. Thank you. You just almost killed your own side and watch right there, lady. Oh, burning touch. That's cool. Actually, can I like look at this? So I basically don't use earth or poison on these guys. I mean, you can, but... Alright, so I get no experience if they die. That's good to know, at least. Uh, okay, only the fluorescent ones explode and kill themselves. That's fine. I kind of wish that they survive so that way I can fight them later. That guy's dead. So that way I can fight them later and get their experience from killing them. Not the other way around. We got this. We, we got this. Trust me, no. We got this. Why are our guys going last? 
I feel like we have much more higher uh, initiative than these guys, right? What's their initiative at? do not tell me. I mean, 15, 14, and 10 is pretty low, but, you know, I think we're better than that. Is that a fire attack? It is a fire attack. I'm a dummy, but it's okay. Uh, what can I do here? Phoenix die, petrifying touch. I can't do electric disc. I can do dazzling bolt. I cannot hit that guy though, but I can hit this guy. Uh, you know what? Just end your turn. It's too far away for me to do anything. Fontaine's combustion to kill this guy probably. I hurt my guy. It's okay though. End your turn. They they got this. I trust them. Apparently out of height. Not enough height for this. How do I? How can I hit that guy? I can't. I'm sorry, guys. It's all to you guys. Good luck. And this is why you always delay your turn instead of ending your turn. That guy's dead. Corpse explosion. He has corpse explosion. Can we learn from that guy? Somehow. Probably not, but you know that'd be cool. It's one versus all now. This guy is basically dead for real. If only had like Phoenix Dive or something, huh, lady? You gotta, you gotta get new skills. Improve your skills because you suck. What else can I do? An Ice Fan? Why not? Do an Ice Fan. Do just. I can't do it. That's. No, it doesn't work. It works, but it's not a good attack. What I will do instead is I will. Uh, you know what? I was gonna do it to one of these Magisters, but maybe that's not the best idea. That is their friend after all. Don't wanna be a jerk. I guess. Don't die to the explosion, please. Thank you. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Silent Watcher. I am so sorry, Silent Watcher. I forgot completely. I completely forgot about you. I'm sorry. I hope you're okay. It's okay, though. We're, we're fine. Uh, I think I stunned you. I'm sorry, man. But hey, he's in fire now at least, right? That's, that's always a good thing. Yeah, you're good. Don't worry. Eh, what else can I do? No Searing Daggers, unfortunately. I can do this attack and hopefully hit him. Well, at least we know that fire only floats and does not fall down. There's no... Gravity does not affect fire. Do some of this. And do some of this. And hopefully that's it. Uh, we'll see. I'll give you some haste. I'll, I'll try to help you. I'll haste you even though you're stunned. Uh, can you not touch us, please? You have 4 HP left, please. The Magister wipes his bloody face with a grimy rag as he strides towards you. Hear me twice. Eyes narrowing with suspicion. He halts several feet away, one hand on the hilt of his weapon. Hello. And you are... Quick save, because this is a very important step. I wish... Why can't you talk to Beast, man? Uh... I must go back in silence. Good thing I didn't bother Oh, come on, dude. Yet. Really? We should just let you guys die then if that's the, the the attitude you're gonna have towards us. What's your weakness, man? Physical damage? Guess what I got for you? Physical damage. You're right on top of me too, man. Kinda rude, but you know. I'll let it pass this time. Do another uh, let's do adrenaline. Now I can do a backlash. Followed by one of uh, a flurry, why not? If you move, you're dead. Shields up. Yeah, you know, that's a good that's a good play. Except he has He didn't gain any armor for some reason. That's weird. Guess we'll do an encourage. And uh That guy's dead. This guy's didn't you walk over here? Okay, never mind. Let's infect this man. Boo with that man. We don't want to hurt you, lady. We understand you're just doing your own thing there. He's suffocating. I still don't know what suffocating does. He's dead. Silent Watcher, don't don't come over here, Silent Watcher. It's, it's you, you don't you don't have, you don't want to see this. 
We don't want you to see this. Silent Watcher, please. Silent Watcher, please, don't do it. Don't make me do this to you, Silent Watcher. Oh, it slows down the movement speed too, I didn't know that. Okay. Low switch together, please. I don't appreciate what you just did to my friend there, so I will petrify you. And then I'll do like one of these bad boys. And I'll do like one of these bad boys. Okay. And I'll do one of these bad boys just in case. And I'm pretty sure we won the fight. And let's do one of the, let's see, these bad boys. And uh, let's go ahead and get close to this person and do one of these bad boys. If I can. There you go, and then uh, you're dead. I believe you're dead. You made low some mad, so we're gonna do uh, try to heal her by attacking you. And there you go. Uh, these magisters are being jerks, and they died because of it. I didn't have to kill them. What's this soulmate? Is it necromancer or summoning? Target character receives half of the healing and armor restoration that you receive. Ah, huh, that's pretty cool. Oh, gold. I like gold. Let's look at this excavation log and see what it has to say. We finally found it, the Ateran. A contingent of Geist and Whites immediately seized it and shipped it to Dallas. The overseers speak of metals of Lucian to be sent to us all. The Ateran. What an incredible discovery. Yes. I agree. Um. Let's go ahead and loot the bodies, why not? Oh, we forgot this body up here. We didn't forget, they just uh, distracted us. During the fight. I don't know, man. He went from here to here. For me, it just seems less like it uses less effort to go through the stairs instead of the ladder. That's just me, though. I may be wrong. Magister Priest, I think I humbly thank thee for what you have given me on this beautiful bounty. Uh, let's keep looking. Keep looking. I'll take all that money, please. Oh, is this the stone tablet that he wants? Also, there's someone over here. A rat. Okay, never mind. I always get kind of excited when I see like a little white, little yellow dots or green dots. Because it's like, oh, it might be something interesting. It's a new character or something. No, it's just a, just a rat. Very exciting, I know. But you know, we can probably unlock this door. Quick save, just in case. Also, uh, take a rest, just in case. Yeah, we probably had the key. Let's uh, read this journal. I don't like it here. There's something humming. Today I saw the blue glowing light and spoke to me. I wish it were the end. The midnight oil. I still don't know what that means. Not a bad helmet. Hard to steal. Interesting. Unidentified boots. Probably better to sell, honestly, just because I don't want to wear these types of things anymore. And source orbs, which I don't know what they're for anymore. I, they're basically strong runes. That's the way I think about it. Hold on. There's obviously something on this other side of the wall. Okay. Okay, so there's just, just a long way around. Okay. There's another mysterious pillar. So I think this will give us another source ability, maybe? And over here, there's nothing. Okay. We'll, we'll come to there when we get to it. For now, though, I think it is best for us to leave this mysterious occult thing for the end. For now, I want to continue. Did that thing turn on by itself? I think that thing might have turned on by itself. In all honesty. Because I just heard the sudden oof. Hello, rat. Alright, well, I found some pieces to the armor, it looks like. I'll take an eerie tablet, why not? Tablet seems oh. to glow from within with a subtle light. No. Some kind of test. I'm really not sure whether I passed or failed. The tablet seems to glow from within with a subtle So you want to touch it? Yes. So hot, it electrical sensations sizzle in your mind. You understand that the runes are ancient Rivalonian, the oldest known la you know not how, but you understand the meaning of these words. Then your fingers grow cold to the bone. Suddenly, 
You were just a person sta Hold on. What's a generous offer? We found some tatters in the caverns, those none of them seem very exceptional. We should continue looking. This is for Riker, okay. What's uh the midnight oil? Came across an odd rune inscribed tablet that seemed to glow from within. But tremendous energy flowed through us. One must rise. Wait, so wait, there's two things for Riker? So it looks like there's two Riker's quests, in my, uh, for what it looks like from here. From what I can tell. There's a poison bottle of wine, an empty cup, an elven bow, another elven bow, and an elven arrow. I mean, it looks pretty fancy. I'll take it, why not? Like, just because of the- I'm only taking it because of the shape of it. It looked like one of those weird, like... Skyrim bows that are really good, like a glass bow or whatever, if you guys know what that is. Identify and probably add it to wares. Yeah. Add it to wares. Bed roll. Let's take a look at the eerie tablet, why not? The unusual tablet, as your fingertips trace these mutilated runes, your eyes flicker closed of their own accord. You see nothingness. Vast, dark, and empty. I'll keep silent. You sense something ancient watching you. Perusing you like a prison guard would watch a wayward ant scuttling across the floor of a cell. From within the endless emptiness, a voice hums into being and calls to you. God woken. You sense an interest within the cold voice addressing you. Beyond the interest, you sense fangs, voracious hunger, a bottomless appetite that no sustenance could ever sate. You see your life flash before your eyes, every memory flitting by like a moth's wings at a lantern. The vision reaches the present moment and diverges into multiple strands, impossible to keep track of. Your brain aches with the effort of trying to keep up with the intelligence as it sifts through your every potential future. And all of a sudden, it's over. Bla An electric feeling pulses in your fingertips. Midnight oil. Okay, so what happens now? Uh, midnight oil. Strange tablet voice called, what was that place? Can we not do anything else again with that? What if we do something else different with that? The unusual as your fingertips shout. Your shout echoes multiple times from within the end. You said you see. That's the same thing. An electric. Just you shout instead of being quiet. Okay. Identifying glass. That's cool. I guess. That's an identifying glass. Okay. Shovel. I kind of want to take a shovel just in case we're separated again and we find another one of those things, like those. Uh. No, I think we made it out. Okay. Well, I think that they finished off that little section over there. Apparently, there's nothing very useful, in my opinion. Maybe I missed something, I'm not sure. This might be the actual tablet, so let's go ahead and give, uh, who, who should be the one that does the honors? Gojira, I guess. He's undead if he dies, no one else dies. That's good, right? He would climb down the ladder, please. So let's quick save just in case. And touch this giant humongous statue. If the pedestal seems empty, as if it was once supported something, something powerful. You surmise that this was once the resting place of Athena, Adoran, until it was torn free and borne away. If this is what Dallas was looking for, then she has claimed her prize. I, fi I find it kind of odd that this is the only time that they didn't have a dialogue. Seems like a pretty important area to have dialogue in. Let's also come back up here. Oh, I, I completely missed this entire section right here. But I actually want to come up here just so for the rat. We'll see what the rat has to say for it to us. And while we're at it, why not just look at this stuff too. I'll read it just in case it gives us anything. Like some recipes. You never know, you know? You never know if you don't know. You never shine if you don't blow. Hey, now you're an all-star. You know, memes. Alright, Rat, please come here, please. Rat, can I please speak to you? I am your master now. Rat squeaks up at you inquisitively. Beady little eyes full of something approximating intelligence. Are you a poet? Do you know it? Do I show it? I write a rhyme in my spare time. It's about a bird, but I need a word. My heart is stirred. He eyes you shrewdly, then sniffs with judgment. Not what I was looking for. Oh. The little rat squeaks up. Are you a poet? I write a rhyme. A bird. In my spare time. It's about a bird. A cat just purred. He eyes you. Sh Not what I. Oh my God! What's the right word? I must know. Tell me th the answer to the riddle. I can't solve the Sphinx riddle. His head is furred? Dude. Please. 
I can't tell this real the stinks. The little rat squeaks That's really cool. He stepped on blood and you can see little steps. That's actually cool. I write a rhyme in my spare time. I'll leave without a word. No, it's not that. The little rats. Are you I write a rhyme in my spare time. He's a nerd? Not what Please. The little rat. Are you I write a rhyme in my spare time. That's just absurd. Not what Dude, what are you looking for? Tell me. I think I did them all. I, write a rhyme. I said that one. I said that one. I said that one. I said that one. I said all of them. He eyes. Not what I was. Whatever. But I think I'm gonna stop here for now. We did most of this cavern. We're probably gonna finish off the rest of it later in the next episode. And I'm just trying to get my bearings of where it's to as to where I am right now. I think we did all of this, right? We didn't go up here, but we'll do that next time. No worries. There's a cage up there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, deuces.